आज का मेरा टॉपिक ब्लैक होल्स के हवाले से है सुपर मैसिव ब्लैक होल्स ब्लैक होल्स के थोरेटिकल डेफिनेशन ए रिव्यू एन एरिया ऑफ स्पेस टाइम विद द ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड सो इंटेंस दैट इट्स स्केप वेलोसिटी इट्स स्केप वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू और एक्सीड्स द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट the important thing is this is that this area can be of any size iske liye jo m cheez hai wo kya hai ki ye jo area ilaka hai wo kisi bhi size ka ho sakta hai chhota bhi ho sakta hai aur bada bhi ho sakta hai an area of space time space time ka wo ilaka area hai with a gravitational field yahan pe gravitational field so intense itni zyada hai That is scap velocity उसकी जो scap velocity है is equal to या तो बराबर हो जाती है या फिर ज़्यादा हो जाती है speed of light से रोशनी की speed से the definite speed of light as you all know especially contemporary people that the speed of light is a finite value in a vacuum a black hole powered jet of subatomic particles traveling at nearly the speed of light out of the m87 galaxy scale velocity density and radius in terms of gravitational force every object has an scale velocity s v scale is square root of 2g m divided by r radius can be found easily all comes down to the matter of density thinking in terms of general relativity einstein's theory of general relativity basically says that gravity wraps space time a rubber sheet analogy down up and through the funnel and embedding diagram is generally a good representation of a black hole wrapping up nearly space time but such two dimensional description can also cause cause conceptual problems this is a simplified model the black hole no hair theorem shows that mass charge and angular momentum are the only properties a black hole can possess types of black holes normal size black holes microscopic primordial size supermassive black holes on the order of millions to billions of solar masses estimated 2 million solar masses of sky day black hole all normal black holes come about in a view most black holes are believed to come about from death of massive stars stellar evaluation star mass of hydrogen is massive and of m is greater than 0.1 and sun to ignite fusion star performs stable core fusion first cycle repeats if star is big and up until the core is of iron star is a kind of onion peel structure of elemental layers after fusion cycle through and star's core is iron if this star now is m is less than 1.4 and sun the star will supernova as a type 2 supernova otherwise it becomes a white supported by degenerate electron pressure this mass limit for supernovas is the limit black hole or neutron star if the star be bent supernova was between 1.4 and 3 m sun then the remnant will be a neutron star supported by degenerate neutron pressure otherwise m final is greater than m sun 
and the result is a black hole because there is no source of outward pressure strong enough. Where could super massive black holes exist? The only known places in the universe where there could be enough mass is in one area is in the center of massive galaxies, not believed to be anywhere else. Wassers, what are they? In some places where joint sources of radio waves were found, no visible source other than a stellar looking object was found. It looked like a point of light, like a star does. These objects were called the quasi-stellar radius sources or quasars for short. Later it was found these sources could not be stars in our galaxy but must be very far away. As far as any of the distinct galaxies seen will now think these objects are the very bright centers of some distinct galaxies where some sort of energetic action is occurring. Active galactic nuclei In some galaxies known as active galactic nuclei, AGN, the nucleus or the central core produces more radiation than the entire rest of the galaxy. Quasars are very distinct HEN, the most dis distinct quasars mark and when the universe was less than a billion years old and sixth of its grand size. Brief view of case for supermassive black hole in these observed HEN. The time variation of HEN, the motion of broad line mission medium medium around the central core. How did supermassive black holes come about theories? From lumps in the early universe, the stellar seed model collapse of the whole star cluster. Lumps from the early universe. In the Big Bang, the whole universe was in a really dense state, so much that perhaps lumps could have formed and of matter dense enough that a black hole was formed. There was enough surrounding matter that galaxies formed around the lumps could explain why pockets of interstellar gas never become galaxies. The stellar seed model. Provided that the surrounding environment is sufficiently rich in matter, a giant black hole could result in an initial stellar seed of 10 M sun produced during a supernova. Collapse of a whole cluster. If the stars of tight night cluster of the moderately young universe had all relatively the same size stars, these would be quite a few black holes forming simultaneously causing smaller stars to be observed and black holes to combine. NGC 1850 to write. Some characteristics of HEN. Super bright HEN, an extreme example. Cosmic optical jets, tidal forces, Cannibalism, they do eat the source of energy. Optical jets, why? The magnetic fields around the black holes that are thought to produce the spectac uh, spectacular jets of high speed particles rushing away from black holes come from the disk of hot gas around the black hole, not the black hole itself. The jets are made by the magnetic field of matter. Begun, it goes in the black hole. Emit radius signals A. Tidal forces stretch further but are weaker. The tidal force is proportional to the mass of the black hole. In other words, as the object gets more massive, the force should get 
bigger to but the force is also inversely proportional to the cube of the object radius as the hole gets more massive its size increase but because of the cube factor the force decreases much faster then any possible mass increases can account for the result is that big black holes have weak tidal forces and small ones have strong tidal forces frames from a nasa computer animation depict one possible cause of gamma rays thrust a star orbiting a black hole spirals in as it shaded by tidal forces generating an intense blast of gamma and other radiation as its matter is compressed and superheated on its way to oblivion cannibalism apparently quasars are only active on order of 100 million years a dead quasar could be revived with a new source food by colliding galaxies through Elliptical galaxies have been found to be active in radio transmission as well. Observations of supermassive black holes. Radio observations at various radio telescopes, X-ray observations from the optical Chandra observatory, optical observation from Hubble Space Telescope. Photo of the Hubble Space Telescope. अम्बल इमेज ऑफ ए सुपर मैसिव ब्लैक होल फैट ऑफ यूनिवर्स ऑल ब्लैक होल्स वेपोरेट ओवर टाइम ड्यू टू हॉकिंग रेडिएशन इवेंचुअली द यूनिवर्स विल हैव नो मैटर इन ए कोल्ड डार्क नेट एंड ऑल विल फिश लिफ्टिंग इज रेडिएशन वेपोरेशन टाइम इन ऑर्डर ऑफ 1 मल्टीप्लाई 10 की पावर एस